Hello Hive. Today we're going to be discussing the 100 envelope challenge. What is it? How can it help me save? How can I make my own? And does two sister bees have some kind of fun way to spin it? Oh, you bet I do. So let's get into all those questions and more. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, you are now tuned into the Two Sister Bee Studio. I'm your host here, April, and this channel is your one-stop resource library for all things related to budgeting and cash stuffing. My sister, Jen, hosts our main channel where she shares her journey, plays all of our fun savings games, and where our hive of busy bees and newbies gather as a community. You are now in the library, so grab your pen and paper, and let's talk about today's topic, the 100 envelope challenge. Well, the traditional method is that you take 100 envelopes and you number these 1 through 100, which dictates the amount you put inside. So number 1 is $1, number 100 is $100, and in between. When you're finished with those envelopes, you will have saved $5,050. You can choose an envelope at random or go in order from 1 to 100. You can use games that will help you, which I will be showing two new ones shortly. And there's a ton of ways to play this challenge to make it your own. So the bare basic traditional method is go to Walmart or Dollar Tree and pick up a pack of inexpensive white envelopes. These were $1.70 for the whole box. So what you do is you just write on each one, one through 100, and every payday, grab your chosen envelope, stuff your cash in there, keep them in this box, or one of these decorative type shoe boxes from Hobby Lobby, or even a shoe box, anything that your envelopes will fit in. You can decorate your envelopes in your box with stickers, colored in, just any way to make it your own. And that is the easiest, cheapest method. If you're on a lower budget, you might be saying, I will not have $100 or $99 or even $79 to put into an envelope anytime soon. You can always add numbers together for a more manageable amount for yourself. So instead of 99, add the nine and the nine together for 18, or hey, save 99 pennies or 99 quarters. The whole idea is for you to save money that works with your income, and you should be proud of any amount that you save. This is supposed to be fun and rewarding to get that serotonin popping whenever you think about saving money. All right, so back to the 100 envelope challenge. If you wanna get a little more involved and you're somewhat crafty, you can create laminated cards that fit into one of those boxes from Hobby Lobby, the smaller ones. Or some folks use this plastic containers from Walmart. I was actually planning on doing the tutorial today showing you how to do it this way. But once I started to think about what supplies you would need, I'm talking a $25 laminating machine, laminating paper, which isn't cheap, craft paper, a paper trimmer, the box to keep it in, we're talking well over $50 by the time it's said and done. And not to mention the time that you will invest into that, which will be super substantial because you have to cut down the 12 by 12 paper, you have to laminate everything, you have to cut it again, you've got to get everything lined up. It's a process. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with this method. The cards can be quite durable and beautiful. And if you have the time to invest into creating them and you have the extra funds to invest in the items that you need, it's a great option and there's plenty of videos on how to do that. But if you know me, I'm all about thinking outside the box and trying something new. So I sat here thinking for a couple of days about we want to save money, but we still want a little flair and a little fun. So what can we do? Well, I came up with two games that not only put a unique twist on the 100 envelope, but you can print your own envelopes that are themed with the games and they will fit inside one of those smaller boxes from Hobby Lobby or any other method that you want to use. So these two games are now available in our Etsy or Kofi shop, which I have linked in the description box below for you, but let's talk about how they work and some other ways that you can play the 100 envelope challenge. All right, so first is House of Cards and you pull a card and decide if you want to save that number or keep building your House of Cards to a higher number. The face cards can help. They are a wild card that can either add or deduct $10 from your card total. So here's an example. I drew a five, an eight, a four, and a king. When I add the numbers together, I have 17. So that king can now add or subtract one to 10 to that total, which will open envelopes seven through 27. Aces are a complete wild card and can be any number. Did your house of cards crash down? Can't seem to make the number you need? You can pay $2 to start your hand over and try again. 
let's see how this would look in action. All right, busted out my trusty Animal Crossing cards. <laughs> Remove the jokers. Okay, it's payday and I'm ready to save my dollar bills, my pennies, or my quarters. Let's see how much we're gonna save. Queen, so that can be plus 10 or minus 10. <laughs> Another plus 10 or minus 10, and a six. All right, so I'm feeling a little late. I wanna get a little later in the, in the boxes here. So we're gonna keep building the house of cards. Seven and eight. So eight and seven and six is 21. I can make it 31 and 41. All right, so I'm going to color in my 41. Let's do a, another hand. Nine. So we're at 19, 28, 36, 43, 49, 58, <laughs> 68. All right, so we've got 68 and a jack, which means that we can now go anywhere from, so here's our 58 right 58 and now with this jack we can either go down to 48 or up to 68 and anything in between because this wild card can add or subtract up to 10 any direction all right so that will help you when you get later into the game and you're starting to get most of these filled that way you can always play something and if you don't and your house of cards crashes down and you bust you just pay two dollars to try again and I played this game three times yesterday, the whole way through, just to make sure that everything worked and it made sense even when you were at the end and it will play just fine. So that is how you play House of Cards. This is your tracker. And then I have two envelopes that I'm offering now with these. So this is our standard envelope that we normally use. And I personally would use this for the $2 busts. You know, I would put them in there for the $2 and then I would use these as the envelopes that go one through 100. Again, I mean, you can use these if you prefer and you just wanna play the game, but these are now available as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out and show you how to assemble them. All right, so when you're coming to this part, you can decide if you just wanna cut straight and ignore it, or if you wanna make it part of the envelope and I'll show you what it's for when we're done. All the envelopes are cut out. Let me show you the standard one really quick, how to assemble. So you take it and you flip it over and you'll notice that the bottom is labeled number one and the short side here is number two. And then you bring over the bigger flap in the back and then the top. I advise hitting it with this so that all of the seams will be creased and flat. You can take glue, you can use double-sided tape, you can use scotch tape, whatever works for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. And there we go, there is the main one. You can use this for all of yours, but see how that sticks in there? If that happens to you, just take your scissors and it'll release it for you. All right, so you can use this for your one through 100, but it's not all gonna fit in here. You probably need a couple of these. You can use this for the $2 busts. You can choose not to use it at all. It's just an option. So there's that one. And you can write what you're saving for if you have a goal and use a tracker on the back. So there's that option. Okay, so these, same thing, flip it over. It also has the numbered flaps, one, two, the bigger one, there we 
go. And here's how this looks. And these will fit into those smaller Hobby Lobby versions. I don't think they'll fit the plastic ones from Walmart. I don't know if they're four inches wide or not, but I prefer the ones from Hobby Lobby because they don't crack over time. But you can do this and this thing on the back, you can write number one here and then all the way to 100 so that when it's in the box, you can see everything and flip through to find your card easier. Or you can just write it on the heart, one through 100 or both. I like options. Do you like options? Well, there's lots of options. <laughs> so again, if you don't like that, just cut it off and don't make it a part of the envelope. So you do get to a page of these, which means that yes, you will be printing out 50 pages to get 100 envelopes and it will take you some time to cut and assemble these, but this is cheaper than laminated envelopes and you'll have a whole game to keep you motivated. And again, if your income can't do dollars, use pennies or quarters or a mixture of all three. You can adjust these games to fit you. Let's move on to the second game. Here is our second game called Pick 52. It is a spin on the 100 envelope challenge, but using the 52 weeks of the year and the 52 cards in every playing deck. Pretty perfect, right? <laughs> all right, so Pick 52 is meant to be played once a week for an entire year using one full deck of playing cards. You draw a card and you save the amount based off the chart below. The suits are all columned from top to bottom by the ace. So here's all the hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades. And you color in the card and save the designated funds to keep track of what you're doing. Okay, so let me show you this in action. All right, so once a week, so every payday, if you are paid weekly, you got your deck of cards. All right, so the seven of diamonds. So here's the diamonds. That means I'm saving $26. And you'll never have to save any more than $52 at one time. And again, if that is too much for you, use quarters, use pennies, add numbers together, whatever works for you. So let's say you draw the ace of spades. That is $4. I'm gonna show you one more. I'm sure you guys got it. Nine of hearts. Here's the hearts, $30. Okay, so let's say you've only got one deck of cards. <laughs> And you're like, yeah, I'm not going to be able to just not use this deck. I'm using it over here for these games and now I'm coming back. And you know, I did the Ace of Spades last week and for some reason it came up again. Well, you colored it in so you know that you did it. So even if you only have one deck of cards, as long as you're coloring in the tracker and you redraw it, you know just to skip it. So that was just a little something I thought of while I was playing this. All right, and this one also comes with the two different styles of envelopes. You can use the main envelope, and I don't think all the money will fit in here. It might, you might get lucky. <laughs> and then here are the smaller envelopes if you like doing it in the 100 envelope style and having an envelope for every amount, because I can tell you at the end of doing something like that and you have all those little envelopes that you get to unstuff, it's pretty satisfying to do that method. And again, if you don't want to use glue, use scotch tape, double-sided tape. There's lots of ways to assemble these. And I also have another little trick to show you. So if, you'd, if you're doing one of these challenges and you'd like a little color or variation from these, take a piece of your standard 12 by 12 scrap paper that you can buy from Hobby Lobby or Michaels or in those books anywhere, flip it over and use this as a template. You can get a couple out of here. I would imagine three, maybe four if you really squeeze them together. Just take this as a template Sketch it out. As you can see, mine is terrible, so you can't do any worse than I just did. <laughs> Cut this out and I'll show you. Okay, so now that you have this, leave this up here as your, as your guide. So we're gonna fold up the bottom. Fold in the side. Fold over the large back. Hit it 
it again. Glue it up. Give it a second to dry before you start messing with it, but look at that. See? So you can have some variation in your box there. If you don't want all of them to look like this, you can add in some extra ones and you can just write on the front or up here to keep track of which number it is. So there are some fun ways that you can do a 100 envelope challenge. We also have a 100 honeys freebie that you can download and play as well. And I have that and everything else we've discussed today linked down below for you. If you found today's video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and I'd love to hear in the comments below how you play your 100 envelope challenges. Thanks for watching guys.